Hello friends, Clage back with another video, and we are starting the Road to Masters series that I talked about and asked for your feedback on, so uh, I think how I'm going to do these is every week when I get ready to start the next session, I will do a quick intro like this, we'll take a look at where my LP is, and then we will have an outro where I compare where we ended up. Uh, I have not played Street Fighter VI really for a couple weeks. Uh, and even when I had been, I was just still kind of learning Rashid. I definitely was not super comfortable with him yet, but he's really fun, and I like playing him. So we're going to grind this out for better or for worse. Uh, it may take me months to get to Masters. It may take me all the way through next year. Who knows? I am not a Street Fighter Six player by any stretch of the imagination, but we're going to try and make it work. So we sit here at 17,553 LP, uh, Platinum 4 at the moment. So we will see where I end up on the outro. So I will see you on the other side. And if this number goes up by even a point, I will be extremely happy. And if it doesn't, I won't be surprised. And we'll just keep grinding away. So see you on the other side. <laughs>
All right, and I am back after this week of getting back into Street Fighter VI to do the roundup here. So hopefully you enjoyed the matches. I did my best to find a couple sets during the week that I played that weren't completely full of slop and at least showed that I have some semblance of an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, let me tell you, that was hard. That was hard to find. <laughs> there was a lot of me remembering how to play Street Fighter VI at a base level and forgetting what a whole lot of Rashid's moves were. So it took, <laughs> took a little bit of effort to find anything worth a damn to put in there for match videos, but hopefully those were entertaining enough for the first try at this Road to Masters thing. But uh, the most important part, uh, where did I end up? How how did this week end up after me grinding a solid number of games in the week? Did we go up? Did we go down? Well, here we go. And a it is a bigger number. It's not a bigger number by a lot. It's only 105 whopping LP. But 105 is better than negative anything. So we take those. We take those with gusto. So. Uh, yeah, uh, a week where I somehow did not lose LP despite having not played the game for uh, multiple weeks, and I I am still very not competent with Rashid. There's a lot about this character that I completely forget to do. I definitely forget confirms and basic routes. I, I kind of got a feel for his pokes, kind of, sort of. 
but I'm not using any of the really good Oki, and I'm definitely not doing the kind of oppressive offense I know this character can do when you really get rolling. But it's a start, and, and you got to start somewhere again. So uh, this is a fun experiment. I hope I hope this is worth watching every week. I definitely intend to do this once a week, and I think it'll be something fun to change up the formula, give me a little bit of break from Guilty Gear, and, and keep things fresh, and I think that'll be good for both sides of the content. But let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the format. Do you want me to change anything up about how I do this? Uh, if you have input or advice for how for things I can be doing better with Rashid, that there's a lot of them, uh, probably all of it. But if you have anything specific you think I should look at, obviously I'm watching a lot of, of match vods and trying to incorporate, you know, the type of pressure and game plans people put in. I've definitely watched a few guides to get a better idea of what confirms I should be looking for. But I, I, clearly, I <laughs> I am not. A person with a lot of Street Fighter prowess under their belt. The only the only Street Fighter game I ever played even remotely competitively was ST for a couple years. So uh, to, to say I am a Street Fighter amateur would be putting it lightly. So I will definitely take any tips or advice y'all got out there for me. But hopefully this was a fun little side event. We'll, we'll do this every week. We'll see where I end up next week and thereafter. And uh, maybe in a year or two I can finally say i got someone to master we'll see if hopefully if i'm playing consistently at least a few times every week we'll uh we'll slowly climb that ladder and make our way up but uh, this was a good time so uh, uh, thanks to all of you who suggested this uh, as one of the options for something to break up the guilty gear content if you're waiting for more guilty gear stuff don't worry i've got plenty of videos planned out and lots of stuff i'm going to be working on in the coming weeks so there'll be no sh no uh short amount of strive content coming down the pipe but uh, this was fun. I, I had a good time. Definitely good to uh, to play something not Guilty Gear for a little bit and just keep everything fresh. So thank you so much for that. And I think that's all I got. So appreciate you all. Be good. Be safe. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. So until then, that's uh, Road to Masters Episode 1. Peace for now.